Hey, welcome back to Tech Leveler. I'm Lee, and today I have another Amazon Fire Stick tutorial. And in this one, I'm going to show you how to install a mouse toggle on your Fire Stick or Fire TV for easy navigating in apps. If you're going to install any third party application like this on your Fire Stick, you're first going to need to jailbreak your Fire Stick and then sideload the application onto the Fire Stick. Don't worry, it's not as difficult as it first sounds and I'll walk you through step by step how to do it. And the first step is to install Downloader onto your Fire Stick. So let's install Downloader. If you're not currently on the home screen, press the home button on your Fire Stick remote and then navigate to the find option here. Then come down and select the finder option and then let's type in Downloader. Once you type a few letters in, you should see it auto populate underneath here and you can come down and select downloader and this will take you to the apps and here you can see downloader so we want to press this then you'll take in to the downloader download page and you want to press this little button here to get it and then it'll queued and then download if the first time you ever download an app this will pop up you can read it and then once you've read it you can press got it and by the time you've read it downloader should have downloaded and you can launch it by pressing the three little lines on your remote however don't launch it just yet let's press the home button to go back to the home page as there's a few little settings we need to change so let's press that home button on our remote now we're on the home screen let's go all the way to the right to the settings now within the settings, come down to My Fire TV and let's go into that. Once we're in My Fire TV, if you don't see Developer Options, you want to press About. And then here will be the name of your Fire Stick. Mine's just a Fire TV Stick Lite. What you want to do is press the Select button. This is the middle button on your remote. You need to press it about seven times. And you'll see this message here. No need, you're already a developer. Then when you come back, now, as you can see, you can see developer options and we want to go into this. So let's select developer options. Now, depending on which model of Fire Stick you have, this may look slightly different. However, it's all pretty much the same. ADB debugging is currently off. You want to go into this and turn it on. And then you want to come into install unknown apps. Now, all the models will just have a blanket turning this on and you just want to turn it on. Now, more modern Fire Sticks have it where you can turn individual apps on or off. So you want to come into this and then you want to select Downloader and you want to make sure this is on. Now we've done that, what you want to press is the home button on your remote control of your Fire Stick to take us back to the home screen. Then we can come down to the recently used apps and we can select Downloader. And then you want to select Allow with this pop-up, then OK then that will be downloader successfully downloaded to your Fire Stick. So what we want to do now is enter a code to download the mouse toggle onto your Fire Stick or Fire TV. And that code is on the screen here. And you want to copy it into this box here on the downloader page exactly how it is. Don't make any spaces or anything like that. Just exactly how it shows here on the screen. Then you want to come down and select go. You'll have this countdown from a redirect page. Then the mouse toggle should automatically start downloading onto your Fire Stick or Fire TV. Then this page will pop up and you need to press install in the bottom right hand corner. This process is normally pretty quick. Once it says app installed, press done. And now we want to delete the installation file because this will just take up room on your Fire Stick. So we select delete and delete again. Now let's go and open up the mouse toggle. So let's press the home button and come to the applications and then my apps. Now, as you can see here, we don't see the mouse toggle and this is a common problem. So what you want to do is go to the settings then come down to My Fire TV, then Developer Options, 
and then install unknown apps. And some people will see the mouse toggle here and you want to make sure this is turned on. However, on later models, you may not see it here. So there's a different approach we need to take. So you want to come back out and go into applications. Then you want to go to manage installed applications. Then you want to come down and find the mouse toggle for Fire TV. Then you want to go into that and then you want to select launch application. Then this pop up will come up, allow USB debugging and you want to select always allow and then OK. Now here is the mouse toggle for Fire TV. You can enable the mouse services at the very top, auto start the mouse services on device startup and you can choose whichever one you want on. Then there's ADB settings here and the need help page. But I'll give you the lowdown on what the mouse toggle can do. To switch between the regular remote and the mouse modes, you need to press the play pause button two times quickly on the remote to toggle between the normal remote and the mouse function we've just installed. Now, the up, down, left and right Move the mouse pointer around the screen. The select button in the middle is a mouse click. The menu button is the scroll wheel up, so this scrolls the page up. And the fast forward is the scroll wheel down. And this moves the page down. So now, whenever you install any third party apps, this mouse toggle for Fire TV and Fire Sticks should help you navigate them third party apps much easier. Don't forget, if you're installing third party apps, then you do want to add a VPN to your Fire Stick. Let's discuss the legal and safety considerations and why adding a VPN may be a wise choice. Many unofficial apps like this operate in a gray area since they're not available on major app stores. Downloading from third party sources carries risks such as malware, while my virus total scan didn't detect any issue, it's crucial to exercise caution. On the legal front, things are complicated and there's no guarantee way to confirm the app's content permissions. To protect yourself, consider using a VPN like NordVPN when using the third party apps like this. The great news is that NordVPN can help you keep your data safe and secure. Plus Nord goes beyond just being a VPN offering additional benefits such as freeing you from streaming restrictions. Don't miss out on the best VPN deal right now. Check out the link provided in the description to get started and stay protected. So that's how to install the mouse toggle on the Fire Stick and the Fire TV. Hope you found that video helpful. If you did, smash the like, smash the subscribe for many more Fire Stick tutorials like this one. And thanks for watching.